couldn't have made it the last few months without the friendship part. So I'm never letting it go. It's good by me. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to After News Delight. So, uh, it was a funny scene between Violet and Gallo, but it's good that they talked about it. So, they had a weird encounter last episode where Gallo had to basically, I don't want to say put in check because it wasn't like she needed to be put in check, but he basically told her in so many words, like, you know, he didn't feel like, you know, that Violet really wanted to be with him and that it was really just her still having these feelings for what happened with Hawkins and because she had invited him to like a dinner or a lunch or something like that, br a brunch or something like that. And he had to decline it because he knew that Violet was still going through it with Hawkins. And so he did the right thing by not taking advantage of Violet and uh, basically telling her, no, we're not going to, you're not going to do this. So they talked about it today, the weird encounter that they had. And she said she doesn't want anything to be weird between them. And Gallo apologized for expressing his feelings, but Violet showed him everything's okay. They had some of the part will always be there. And she claims that they both will do better and remain friends. And the friendship has meant a lot to her. So, Look, I, I I just want to say that Gallo, you did the right thing. You, I said this in my last video. You did the right thing. You were a, a real friend because you did not take advantage of her. And I think she realized that she knows that. It wasn't like you hurt her feelings or anything like that. She needed to be told that because she wasn't thinking white. So, to me, I think the, I think the stronger they become as friends the closer they could be as lovers in the future. Because we know the end game. I've been saying this for a while. And I know a lot of fans prefer her and Hawkins. But we know Violet and Gallo are, are in game. We know at some point they're going to hook up. But I think the fact that they've, they've really repaired their relationship really through the friendship. And I always say this before. You know, I think the best route sometimes with, with, with your potential lovers, your person, is to become friends first, man really had that understanding between each other that you just can't have, you know, when your uh, lover's starting out. You know what I mean? You know, not everybody has to go that route, but I think it helps some people in that relationship to really get a better understanding of their partners and stuff. Because Gallo and, and, and Violet still need to learn each other, man. So, um, I, think that they're, I think they're in a good situation. Hopefully, they continue to go slow with them, you know, the writers. And don't put them together like before the end of the season. And uh, continue to go about it this way, man. Um, some point later in the season, I definitely want to do a poll on this, man. Um, as far as how much time you think they should take as far as being uh, together. I don't want to do it this week, but we'll, we'll definitely do it down the line. Uh, give me your thoughts real quick on this, and I'll come back to wrap this up in a little bit. Okay, you guys, make sure y'all go on ahead and hit the like button. Comment and share the video. Also, make sure you guys also donate to the channel by hitting the thanks button below, or you can hit up the Cash App dollar sign Sack Exchange to send any donation to the Cash App. Here are the top donators, and you can fit yourself in this list at any time if you donate at least two dollars or more. Thank you. So yeah, man. Um, I, I definitely think. That they're in a, a, a violent gallo in a good spot. You know, they just need to continue to take things slow. And um, and, and we'll see from there what, what happens, man. Because I, I think they're going, I think Gallo, Gallo has matured a lot. He, he. if this was two or three years ago, he probably would have just went on ahead and went, went on with that brunch, try to get in the violence pants and, 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 and go from there, man. But I think the death of Hawkins really changed everything, too, because... He kind of recognizes that Violet, I think he's sort of protective over Violet as well. That he knows that any little situation like that could really mess her up. And he knows that she's still going through it with him. So, don't want to, you know, do anything that's going to uh, put her in a vulnerable position where she can't find love down the line. Or, or it, it prevents her from finding love down the line uh, for not being able to trust 
the person. So I think she has even more trust for Gallo in this situation as well. I really do. I think she got even more trust for him after this. So let's see how they let's see how this goes, man. I think it went. I think they're going the right direction, man. Thank y'all for watching. After news to like.